What's going on guys? I'm Alex from Avid Tech and we're back with another video. Today we have episode two of our Future of Driving series where we are discussing a company and a car in particular that we should all have heard about so far. If you haven't checked out episode one of this series as well, we talked about a pretty cool car there. I'll uh, link it in the description below um, so you guys can check that out after this one. Uh, but let's get right into it. We are talking about the Tesla Cybertruck. For just a little bit of a refresher for the Cybertruck, those that may not know much about it, it is basically Tesla's SUV truck uh, heavy duty performance, but with a lot of utility, kind of all in one. Um, so, I mean, they revealed it a couple of years ago. We saw the, the demo with the uh, bulletproofing that they apparently kind of lacked on a little bit, uh, but it is the sport utility vehicle, uh, but it is named as a truck labeled as a truck. So that's what the Cybertruck is. So first off, let's get into the design of the Cybertruck. Now, this is a very unfamiliar model when it comes to vehicles uh, on everyday road. Uh, so this is a very angular design. They use a lot of kind of triangles, a lot of straight lines. Um, so this is the vehicle is very rigid, kind of rugged looking. Um, it is for the outdoor use. Uh, they have presented that information with the utility for the back coming down. Um, and kind of using it as uh, kind of a seating space or a uh, place where you can set things and all that good stuff um, or load stuff to take off when you get to your destination. So all that has been presented to us with the Cybertruck and its design um, with this cargo area. But as I said, very angular design. Some people love it, some people hate it. My opinion, I kind of like it. I think it's different. I think it's unique uh, for every day. You'll definitely know when that's on the road. Um, but the sheer size of it will let you know that. But I think once you start to see a lot more of them on the road, um, it will, the size of it will kind of look a little bit more normal, but I still think the design of it will always feel new and feel fresh um, just until somebody else kind of copies the design. Now onto the production part of the Cybertruck. We have just found out uh, as recently as last week uh, that they are planning to start producing the Cybertruck this year. I know there were some holdups um, from the first kind of model, the demo model that they had. Um, there were some prototypes and some beta testers on the road, but um, now that we're starting to get into production phase, uh, we're starting to see a lot more hiring going on. Um, and with the Gigafactory being in Texas, that's where this hybrid truck will be produced uh, to be on the road. So uh, there's a, there's over a million pre-orders um, from the cyber truck from when they first announced it. Uh, so I know those people are still waiting on their cyber truck, um, and, but when it, want it to be pretty much perfect, you know, coming out. So um, I'm sure they're willing to wait a little bit. So. Uh, we should see it. I don't think Tesla will wait too much longer. I think it'll probably be, you know, end of this year or next year um, before we start seeing, you know, road models in consumers' hands. But um, I do think they'll start producing, you know, middle of this year, toward the end of this year, and start rolling them out to consumers, especially ones that pre-order. I can't lie. I would, if I had need uh, needed a truck, I'd probably, I'd like the Cyber Truck. I mean, the Cyber Truck is is powerful, is efficient, it's fast. Um, you know, with they're up to 500 mile range, but their zero to 60 is averaging right around three seconds, which is, I mean, absolutely phenomenal for that size of a vehicle um, and the, the materials that they're using on that vehicle on the outer shell. So uh, it's definitely impressive uh, if they can if they can live up to those numbers, um, at least on paper. I think the biggest questions here with the Cybertruck is going to be the reliability factor. You know, the Tesla Cybertruck is going to be a utility vehicle uh, that is supposed to be for use for off road or outdoors. Uh, type of type of activities it's going to be on road as well with the the range um, and the and the speed and the performance there but um, it's really going to be used i think for more utility driven stuff and tesla so far has not been it's kind of been back and forth but it's not been the most reliable in terms of their current models that they have out so it's going to be interesting to see what they can do with a kind of a whole new beast uh, with the cyber truck with the materials of the stainless steel uh, the no side mirrors which is what we saw in the demo model um, the angular designs, can they perfect that? Can they make that right? Um, and do it, you know, repeatedly for those millions of vehicles that they'll have to produce. So we'll see. I don't know um, exactly if Tesla can do that um, more or better than uh, other companies out there that uh, we have yet to see. I think the Cybertruck is a cool vehicle. I do think that after pre-orders, after people get them on the road and test them, we'll really see if Tesla has what it takes to really be a strong, formidable EV company going on into the future uh, because I do think these with these other companies making headway and Tesla kind of being wishy-washy on the reliability factor of their current models if the Cybertruck isn't as reliable either 
we'll start to see people kind of sway away from them and go to other companies. That'll do it for episode two. I mean, that's pretty short and sweet. Tesla Cybertruck, nothing new here. Uh, just kind of a, a basically an update of the Cybertruck EV from Tesla. So it is coming. Um, so, you know, pretty excited about that. You know, different vehicle, like we said, different style, different shape, uh, and still the performance and the uh, efficiency of an EV. So if you like this series so far, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you go comment below, talk to me down there about your opinion on the Tesla as a whole or the Cybertruck in particular. Um, are there other models that could rival it um, in the near future? So uh, definitely subscribe if you're new. Um, if you're coming back, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.